hand knee supported leg abduction. So the easiest way that I've found to get into this position to make sure that you're in the proper alignment for the actual movement itself is to start here in a tall kneeling position and then simply allow your upper body to drop to the side. Allow your back foot to kind of come in as a little bit of an anchor. So it's gonna come at an angle. You wanna to try to keep your hips as square towards whatever that front line is as possible. Your hand stacks right underneath the shoulder, chest is open, hips are open. So everyone's hip angle is gonna be a little bit different, but this is essentially the starting position. And then we're thinking about keeping that top leg foot flexed and the leg straight. From here, we're just gonna exhale, drive that heel towards the sky, keeping that angle of the foot parallel to the ground. Inhale, drop it back down, exhale up. So this is gonna get right into that glute medius, a little bit of piriformis action here as well. Um, you can bring your breath into it, inhaling to drop, exhale, thinking about keeping your abs coming up to squeeze at the top here. And that is our hand knee supported uh, leg and hip abduction.